Colton, uh, just give me your general thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, my thoughts on the upcoming season, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is just dominate. Um, coming off that disappointing season in the, in the spring, you know, uh, you kind of you kind of want to come into a dominate. And, and my thoughts on this is there's there's no other word to describe it, but we just want to dominate in the spring. And that's the only thought that really comes up to my mind is just winning and and just dominating every single play. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to leave anything up to decision. Yeah, leaving it all out there. And then you were talking about uh, the spring and, and we look at it, it was just a couple months ago. Um, so tell us about the quick turnaround from playing in the spring and, and now you're right back at it in the fall. Oh, um, I think we at Martin, we've done a, a good job. You know, um, Coach Simp, he's really taking care of us. And he, he we usually here on June, um, but he gave us June and, and, and gave us a little break, two month break. And uh, we're hitting it back in July. But I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I'm a football guy, so I kind of like I like being in season and I like training and I like constantly testing myself. So I'm excited for the season. I'm ready to the quick turnaround really ain't, ain't nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? I really and this is what I do. So I'm, I love it. I love the quick turnaround. And I just I love playing football. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about this year? Oh, man, what am I most looking forward to? Ooh, this is hard. Um, there's a lot of them, a lot of things. Um, we got a lot of different guys that are gonna gonna pop out this year, and, and it's gonna they're gonna do something different, something that they never did before. So, me, um, I'm just looking forward to, to the team success we have, and I'm also looking forward to seeing them guys like like Don, uh, I said Donnie, Rodney and Donnell, and and even some of the younger guys just having an explosive season because it's coming. You know what I'm saying? You got a piece of it in the spring, but fall is coming and and we we all get to really see some really good athletes you know what I'm saying like that's the main thing I'm excited about is just is just watching the team ball and and, and having a lot of team success this year yeah you tell you talk about the the younger guys coming in and you've got yourself your fifth season with the team uh what is it that you you like most about this year's team uh, this year's team, you don't got a lot of personalities, you know. Um, a lot of times with teams, when they have as, as talent as good as we have, there's a lot of personality that comes with it, and there's a lot of problems that, that typically come with those teams. And uh, with this one, you don't really see that. Um, we're all kind of together, and we, we all really, we got one common goal in mind, you know, and it's, it's bringing us together. Nobody, there's not a, a lot of individuals on this team. It's we got it down to where everybody wants to one goal. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's really selfish on this team. And so I would say the overall selflessness of the team is, is what it is. So you mentioned the, uh, the, the one goal, what, what is that? What are, what are the, uh, the those goals for you all? I'm not going to sit here and say our goal is, is, is to win everything, but our goal is, is to be the best team every single Saturday to be the most prepared team on the field. And we all know, the most prepared wins 95% of the time, you know, you got special cases, but the goal is just to play our play as fast as we can play as confident as we can and the rest is going to follow suit. I like it very simple straightforward. Uh, we'll, we'll switch over here to our second set of questions um, and again, this will be more central to yourself and, and UT Martin. Um, we'll get started off right away. Just what is the game of football meant to you? Oh, football. See, see, you said game. Football to me is it's not no it's not a game. Um, college football in general, uh, in particular, is is life. It, it shows you a lot about life. So the game of football is is really not a game to me. It's it it's it's a plan for life. You know, you learn how to be a teammate. You learn how to talk to people. You learn how to motivate people without seeming too motivated yourself, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, I just teach you a lot about yourself. Football is just, it's a teacher, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's, the, that's the best thing about the game to me is it, it shows you a lot about yourself, your teammates, your family members, you know, it, it, just, it, it shows you a lot. And um, it really gives you the blueprint to have a successful life if you really buy into the game of football. 
Yeah, you, you, yeah, you say it's 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 your life and everything. And um, there's a lot involved with being not only an athlete but being a student athlete. Um, so looking at that side of things, how do you stay focused so you can succeed with everything you're doing? Oh, planning. You gotta have a plan. Um, if if you don't got no plan, you're gonna it's it's not gonna be a good idea. You're gonna get behind. You know, your grades are gonna slip. Um, I like to plan out my assignments, you know what I'm saying? Football is easy to keep keep uh, the schedule, but putting them classes into a schedule and, and, and really, really breaking down what you gotta do every single week, it kind of helps keep the order of things. So I would say just keeping an order is, is how I've been able to get through college with a, with a 3.0 GPA, you know what I'm saying? Just keeping order and um, not getting behind. That's the main thing. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, talking about Rodney and Donnell. Um, combined with them, your team is a lot of talented receivers. Uh, talk about that level of talent and how that will be a strength for your team this year. Um, it's a strength for our team because when you when you got guys like Donnell and Rodney um, pushing you every day, you know it kind of it, it brings the level up. It brings the level up. So. Having them, having them push me every single day, just seeing, seeing what they do and, and, and pushing me, it, it's, it's making me a better player, but it's also making the team better because they set the standard. You know what I'm saying? We set, we set the standard and um, we make sure that standards met every single day. So playing with them is just, it's a motivator. You know what I'm saying? I want them to do the best, but not better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a, it's a constant, a constant battle every single day in the practice and it's and there's a science saying called everybody knows it's iron sharpens iron and and that's that's basically what gets down around here so it's it's definitely good that they're good and um elite level players because it only brings the team up and that's how i see it everybody makes everybody better yep um so speaking along that just the competition in general what's it meant to you to compete in the ovc and, and outside of that, what is something an outsider should know about the level of competition in this league? I think a lot of people get mixed up in, in the fact that the OVC is FCS ball and they think it's some, some sort of small town ball or some, that's not the case at all. Like you see um, with the transfer portal opening up and you're getting all these transfers and they're flooding into these FCS conferences, OVC included. So. OVC ball is is not no it's not no cupcake it's not nothing like that you know what I'm saying like it's it's real deal competition and as far as playing in OVC you, you kind of get a relationship with with the different teams and you get to build that uh that rivalry we're so close so it's kind of like oh I'm playing them this week that's all that's right down the road let's let's go let's go win you know what I'm saying make that our home too so playing in OVC it, it's it's a small it's a small connected group of teams that are pretty good and it, it's not no it's not a cakewalk that's why I would say to anyone that has something to say about the OVC um we get FCS OVC we always get disrespected but we put out talent every single year you know what I'm saying so that's what I would say to someone with OVC we need we need more respect I like it I like it um let's finish up with uh one uh, fun question here. So uh, game day experience, what, what's your favorite part of the game day experience? And, and along that, uh, people usually have their, their game day rituals. Do you have any type of ritual or superstition before a game? Yeah, um, I got a ritual. This, this spring, I kind of started my own new ritual. And um, before the games, see, we get to the building probably about three, four hours before the game. And um, I like to, we, we meet, walk through, eat all that and after all that's over we get about an hour and a half to two hours for the game and I just like to take 30 minutes and just go down to the uh the weight room and just lay there just lay on the ground just lay on the ground and sit there and think about how I'm going to attack this game and and how I can make this team better through my play today um also I I don't I don't I listen to kind of calming music because it, it's it don't take much to get me going so I, I, I kind of like to stay relaxed so I kind of listen to 
classical music and like and like classic rock and stuff like that. Not, nothing, no. There's there's not a lot of heavy beats in my in my pre game pre game uh, music list. It's a lot of cool and relaxing because you know I bring the juice myself, so I don't really need no music. I like it. I like it. That that's good. That's good. Well. Um, that's all we've got for you today, Colton, and uh, yes, very much appreciate you uh, you taking the time to sit down with us and providing us some really good responses to these questions, man. Um, uh, with that being said, good luck on the upcoming season, and uh, again, en enjoy the uh, the lead up to it. I appreciate you having me.